So today we're going to go over how to add input and output files to Visual Studio, C Lion, and Xcode. So we'll start with Visual Studio. The first step for all of these is to make sure that you have your input file downloaded to your computer already. Um, next we're going to go to Project here at the top, and we're going to go down to Properties at the bottom, and then we're going to click this Debugging tab and go over here to command line arguments and we're going to list the different arguments we have which are in.txt and out.txt those will be my two different arguments so we hit OK now we're going to right click on project 2 and click open in file explorer and this is where we're going to put our input file so I have it here in my downloads if I copy it and now we can paste it here and now it should find my input file. I don't have to provide an output file because it should be created already by the code we have. If we hit run, just to make sure, the in and output files are correctly created and we exited with code zero, as we can see down here. Next, we're gonna do C line. So it's gonna be pretty similar. Up here at the top, you're going to click run and then click edit configurations. We're gonna put the program arguments in. They're gonna be the same, in.txt and out.txt. And if we click apply, it should have now been applied. And then we're going to right click on our main and click show in Explorer. And this time you're actually going to put the file in the CMake build debug folder. So if we go down to the downloads and copy our input file, then we can just paste it right in here like this. And now if we run this, this should work. And yep, it does. Exited with code zero, so we made it to the end. So lastly, we're gonna do Xcode. Now Xcode is a little bit different than the other ones that we've done. So the, what you're gonna do is go to your project name next to this blue icon at the top, and we're gonna click over to this Build Phases tab. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new copy files phase. Now there is one here previously, um, I believe that has something to do with the way it compiles your project together. So you want to leave that one alone. And this brand new one that we created, we're going to click plus and we're going to click add other. And then we're going to navigate to wherever our input file is. In this case, it's in my downloads. So we hit open and we're going to make sure that this copy items if needed is checked. Then we click finish. And now your input file is here. The nice thing about Xcode is you can actually edit your input file right in here without having to go navigate to your folder and edit it. You can just edit it right in here and the IDE will recognize those changes. Um, so lastly, we're going to go up here. We're going to hit edit scheme and we're going to go to this run tab to arguments and hit the plus and type in our different arguments. So we have in.txt and click plus again and we have out.txt and close. And now that should be it. And here we see it exited with code zero, so we know it worked.